think I'll take a boat. A small boy. Hmm. Uh, Alpha or Bravo spawn. North. I'm gonna try and hug as much cover as possible. Pay attention, James. Your bottom is red. Mine is green. So confused me for a second there. <laughs> also, it seems that the forward third of this ship's hull is metal. This ship is boat. But then the rear third, or the rest of it is either, like, really thin strips of metal, or it's wood. I see what you mean. No, I think it's just, uh, ribbed. It's but weird looking. Sure. It could be ribbed metal, but it still looks strange. I think it's def- well, the model makes me think it's ribbed. Because there's no seam at the start of the- Yeah, which is why I think it's weird looking got to be a ribbed. Love tap. Uh, where am I going? Um, I'm that away. down so Daddy Josh can guide the direction. in contact at any point. Yeah. Oh, that's three of them on some cargo ships. But basically 240 around the island. How has that guy already managed to... Oh, right, that's like... Actually, not that far. But I'm still impressed that he's managed to get that far up from the spawn. <sighs> yeah, yeah. It's like, what's the point in taking boats if you let dread or if you let destroyers get into position first? What's the point in taking a destroyer if they spawn at the same point as a cruiser? And what's the point of taking a cruiser if you spawn well within the effective range of a battleship that has armor that is immune to you at whatever range you want to be at? Your name really is accurate on the server. Yeah. I'm surprised we have not encountered anyone. You're not the only one. It's less of a fun surprise and more of a which corner is somebody going to realize they've just driven past us and shoot us from surprised. Yeah. The biggest... Oh, gunners have opened up on the... Yeah. Hydrofoil, left side. Oh, right. Oh, yes, yeah, so you want to kill that quickly. I'm working on it. Dead shit. Oh, nice. 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 I actually got it. Huh, there's a guy from Mike's squadron here. Yeah, oh, we actually outnumber the enemy presently. Gotta love balance. Oh, and we have three cruisers. We got a Kuma and two Kako. Things they should know we're here now. 
well, the issue is they the issue is that guy knows we're here. Whether he told anyone or whether anyone else noticed. Also, there's a cowl over there, which is not nice. So what's the plan <laughs> once we get there? Well, the idea is to torp the oh, cargo I've ships. Oh, i up on... No, 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 no. Shush. Don't attract his fire. protection exists? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, good. I've got my eyes right. All the ships that are coming this direction. Do the cargo ships move? Yep. So there's a player. Oh, yeah. So I've dumped a torp at him, though I'm dead. Oh, uh, player on my left, my right, I have a better chance of killing. Down. <laughs> Well, with Should any luck, torps away. With any luck, the torps will land somewhere useful. Okay, well, stop the time. Oh, you spawned all the way over there. At least I got the close spawn.
I'm getting somewhat surprisingly lucky with these time fuse shells. Um, you are aware that VT for variable time is a code name, right? No. Well, it's a code name. It actually has nothing to do with time fuse at all. It's a radio proximity fuse. Makes more sense. Yeah. But basically, an actual time fuse is quite literally just a you set a time or a dis you know, a distance, which is the same thing as a time for all intents and purposes. Yeah. Um, and the shell will detonate after X amount of time which is calibrated to Y amount of distance from exiting the muzzle. What the fuck are you... Oh, it's the light cruiser still. Uh, VT, on the other hand, literally has a passive radio receiver yeah, or I understand. Actually, it's not a passive radio receiver, it's a transceiver. Oh, that bastard hasn't died yet. God damn it. Good to know. I can sit there and pump as many shells as I want into the front of a Type 1936A and I'll do no damage. Because it's bow tanking. torpedo just swimming along the surface. You've just spawned and it's taken me like two minutes to get here. Yeah. So there might be torps on the way to you? No, there's one that's just gone past you behind you, but... Well. Plane left. Yeah, it's a float plane. Wait. If anything, we should be more concerned about that cruiser. Which cruiser? Two planes front. Left. Eleven or twelve. 
Oh, sorry, that's not a float plane. That's a B6 or a B7 that's going into Torp the Akatsuki. Haha, <laughs> um... Plane's front? Yeah, I can see him. Three of them, actually. Yeah. Four. No, that's something on my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that one's coming in rather low. Attack the B point. Take him yeah, down. That one. Okay, Leningrad got him now for the other one to the right. That one. Yep. Uh now up. Oh. Yeah, I see him. Well, I've just had both my Torp launchers and my number two and number one turrets disabled, so... Because uh, there's a Sumner over there that is shooting yeah. invisible shells at me. Just seen it. Same. Oh no, that, no, that round's they're not invisible. So barely got my torps here before he down from the torp launcher. Let's see. Um, you have a boat that your gunners have opened up on that has opened up on you, and then there is a destroyer, a the same sort of deflection off, but to your rear. My gunners are focused on the plane. Oh, well they were shooting at the boat. No, they were shooting at the plane. Okay, well if you want to shoot at this boat that's coming across the island in front, that would be appreciated as well. Yep, can do. And the bomb didn't drop. Don't you love it when bombs don't drop? I'm in danger, I'm in danger. You're fine. Okay, off your nose. Yeah. Also another plane, but... Nose in front of you, yep, grab yep, your yep, class, yep, yep, he's yep, going yep. to melt you. Oh, that was not the first strike potential I wanted. Oh my god. And there's another boat behind him. He's dropped torps, he's dropped torps. All the torps. Don't hard left, left hard left, yep, hard yep, left. Yep, 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 I'm full back, hard left. Yes, that is. Oh my god, what the fuck? Do you see why I don't like those? Okay, talk time.
Why do I want to talk? Uh, the thing about an event like this is it's not inciting me to play for victories. Yeah, well, this entire event strategy is basically just be as sweaty and broken as possible. Okay, that thing in front of me... What is... is it? Mm, that's either the Jaguar or the boat behind it. I think it's the boat behind it. Uh, the Jag ran off somewhere else. Um, either way, it's going to kill you because it has a machine gun. Yeah. Um, which means it can laser you for miles then. out. That was a torp. Okay, I need to redirect my efforts then. Uh, yep, uh, I don't... There's an enemy right? cruiser way off to your left. Oh, uh, you see Jay Rollins in front of you? Yeah. He's attacking an enemy cruiser. Only issue is, you would basically die by the time you got to him, I think. But you might be able to do something to him, and also it's a really early Japanese light crew. Or, yeah, it's going to have a, hard, a hell of a lot less AA than everything behind you. Yeah, that's fair. Um, approach. How should I? Um. Well, the issue is, is that with the torp, you kind of have to come in at X altitude at Y speed. Well, no, between X altitude and my speed. Right? True. I can currently go up 150 meters and increase speed by 90 miles an hour. Yeah, so I can see that. But, um, ideally, you'd probably be coming in a bit more from the left, but. Because um, the whole thing is, you kind of want to not give them the ability to turn away from your torp. Yeah. Like this? That's, yeah, that should work. Because um, he's going to try and turn into you or turn away, so turn to your right. Right. Uh, straight now. Drop. Boom! Head drop. <sighs> Thank you. That only worked because he had next to no AA. <laughs> <laughs> Because you would have been dead yeah. half the distance from... Uh, yep. Pick your battles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Let's pop you up to second. I was already in second. Oh. What it's done is it's popped me up by a thousand damage. True. Okay, now I just need to not stuff the landing. It's really not that hard to land one of these things. You just need to get to below... I'm I'm just not that um, competent as the world we're looking for. Yeah. That's AA at me. Piss off. Oof. Tashkent on Rollins. You got his top side though, so. In. Oh, we are hemorrhaging people. Uh, by that we mean it's you. <laughs> oh, against oh. all but two people. Yes. Um, GG. No, this is what we call a target-rich environment, Joshua. No one else can see all my chaos. That everyone can focus their AA on me. <laughs> oh, are there any planes up? Not that I can I'm, see. I am not equipped for plane. Oh. Well, we okay. have a torpedo boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight destroyers, I can see. Two torpedo boats, so that makes ten people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Josh, what speed do I want to be going? About 40 miles an hour slower than what you're doing by the time you're actually... You'll be fine. Just... No, okay. No, look, turn towards the landing strip. Turn your throttle up to about 50 at the moment, because you have not got enough speed to make it to the strip, which is to your right. 
And I don't need you falling out of the sky. Okay, turn your throttle back down to 30. Now, lower it to 30 flaps. and lower your gear. Any flaps? Yeah, once your gear is down, pop your landing flaps. So you turn your throttle down. And turn it off now. Um, put your flaps, put your flaps down, put your flaps down. Flaps are getting down. Yeah, okay. No, I pull up and... Yeah, ideally trying. your gear and flaps would have been down by the time you had gotten to the strip. They just take ages. To be fair, most of the landing I've been doing at the moment is either in plane which goes substantially faster than this, or in a Japanese plane that can land on a runway that is the length of a patio. Not on a dime. Not quite a dime. But like, half that runway at the most. Yeah. But then okay. it also has air brakes, so... Okay, so now I want to cut throttle to like 30 ish. Yeah, and then put your gear and flaps down now. Cut throttle all the way. Oh, this is too quick. You'll be slowing down. If your flaps are going down, you'll slow down. Right? And now if you're touching down, you should be able to make. Well. Uh, pull. Yep, that, that, no, that, not okay, that you set the bounce. Okay. No. No, uh, rudder turn. Rudder turn. Put the brakes on and turn with your rudder to your right. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, Two thousand damage, and I completed a battle task. Well, I got some research on things.